I am home. I am back from the land of 9 a.m. power naps and cake for breakfast. Like literally, like I ate cake for breakfast. Who eats cake for breakfast? All right, what is up, you guys? Welcome to the Wednesday Hump Day Drummer video thing of the week for February. Let me look here. February 21st, 2018. We are entering. This is like the home stretch for me. This is where I, I'm like, I, I haven't worked since November, really. And I'm just, I'm starting to itch, man. I'm starting to get that itch. I got to get back to work. I got to get back to work. Number one, it's, it's I've spent all my money vacations, <laughs> that stuff. So I've spent all my money that I had saved up from the summer. Um, and it, so, well, kind of out of necessity, I need to get back to work. So I'm ready to do that. I am, and I'm ready for winter to be over. Just after spending a, a week in Arizona where God, it was 70 degrees every day, except for one day it rained in the desert. It figures one day I'm there, it rains. Um, but, <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm ready. I'm I'm ready for summer to come. You know, I'm ready for to be done wiping dogs' paws because that's that's my life this time of year. You know, it's we get this we get the snow and then it melts and then I gotta wipe dogs' paws and they go out and they roll around in the mud and they lay in slushy mud puddles and they come back in and I make them get in a bathtub and I might as well be beating them with a rubber hose because it's the end of the world to them. I am rambling. I'm looking at the clock now. It's one minute thirty seconds. These are supposed to be one minute videos and I'm clearly over my allotted time. So let's get to this week's video. I'm gonna completely butcher his name. Completely. I think he's uh from Japan, uh, based on the name, uh, and his 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 channel name is Kyochumu. Kyochumu, uh, K I Y O C H A M U. Uh, he did a cover of uh, a Dream Theater song. It's oddly enough, I used to be like a, a big, huge Dream Theater fan. Like when when, when Dream Theater first started coming out, started gaining popularity when Pull Me Under came out in the early 90s. I heard this band and I was like, oh my gosh, this is just, this music is unbelievable. Um, I outgrew it <laughs> rather quick though. Uh, I, I had um, images and words and I had their second album and after that I never really, really got too much into them. Um, I just outgrew it. Uh, all the starts and the stops and it just, and the singing. I, I, I'm gonna make some enemies here, but James LeBray or LeBray or whatever his name is, he's got just it's like finger, his voice is fingernails on a chalkboard to me. Jeez, man, can you just sing in a normal register for one freaking song? But to, to <laughs> beginning drummer wise, it's completely unbelievable music. It's so incredibly hard to play. And I have the utmost respect for that band. And I have the utmost respect for any other band. I'm backtracking because I didn't mean to insult Dream Theater. But he did a cover of Under a Glass Moon from the Images and Words album. And it's literally, like I said, I can't really listen to that band anymore. I got through the entire song because his drumming was just, it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So check out the link right here to his channel and I will see you guys next week.